Alpine cheese making is a tradition that's gone back for, for centuries, thousands of years. And Alpine cheese making is really rooted in survival. Here these farmers are out burning 15,000 calories a day, cutting hay and, and herding the cows, doing all the work involved in managing the farm. And the big question is, can I produce and save enough calories to keep me through the winter? And so they, they get all this milk from the cows, and how do you preserve milk? Well, you make cheese. And you have pigs on the farm, and, and how do you preserve that meat? You make sausage, and you get your, your rye and, and make, make some bread. And so they, they've mastered the art of being able to, to survive on what they produce there on the farm. We are here on uh, Busalp. This is called Eiger Alp. I'm very fascinated about making Alpine cheese. For me, this means everything. Making cheese, Alpine cheese up here, with the tools we have, is a sort of art. And I just love it. Coming up and working in the Alps, this was a dream for me since I was a, a teenager. And at some point, I just decided, now or never. And so I went up here, this was six years ago, and since then I'm every summer up in the Alps. And I could not imagine a summer without being up here. Making cheese in a copper cauldron over an open fire is a, is a way of life in Switzerland. An ancient way of life that frankly isn't disappearing. Also, my name is Dries Michel. I am a Bergbauer. My name is Dries Michel. I'm a mountain farmer in Grindelwald, and I've been coming up here since I was a little boy. Cheese making has been passed on to me from my family, and now it's my responsibility to produce a really good Alpine cheese. Also, for me, it is easier to our cows mean everything to me and I'm very proud of every single cow. They are part of our family. Like most other alpine farmers, Dres and Michael have a small herd. Every cow has a name, every cow has a bell that the farmer recognizes and recognizes the tone of that bell and the cow knows their own bell. It's of course, on one hand, a really tough life. You have long hours, you have no day off, and for 100 days you're just here working hard, really hard, physically hard. It's typically a 16-hour day, unless things go wrong, and that, and that can be an 18 or 20-hour day. Now, always up by, by four o'clock in the morning to go out and milk the cows for the morning milking. Then they're making the cheese, then they're taking the cheese down to the cellar and washing and brushing the rind. All the daily aspects of life continue to go on. I was always dreaming to come up here and have this kind of life. And now I'm doing what I always wanted to do and have the style of life that I always wanted to have. This is my passion and this is for me, it's my little paradise. Oh yeah, <laughs> this is really something. <laughs>